So hello everybody, uh, this is uh, Juan, hey, how's it going? Um, we're learning senior uh, tutor here for Journalism 101 and um, Journalism 202, um, Journalism in general. Um, so I'm gonna be focusing today on a work on this workshop. Uh, we're gonna talk about you know leads. So what is a lead? Let's, let's, let's kind of unpack that really quickly. So typically I think that the easiest thing to say with a lead is that um, the lead is about 25 words, right? And what these words are supposed to do is tell you the most important thing about your story. So um, the purpose of a lead is to hook, first of all, hook your reader. But more importantly than that, that uh, in those 25 words, is to make sure that the reader knows exactly what your article is going to be out be about, uh, and the most important thing that comes out of your uh, of your article. Um. So the next question, obviously, after what a lead is, is how do you find the lead? You know, how do we find the lead? This is kind of it depends on the type of article you're writing, but generally speaking, um, when it comes to most articles, you want to take into account. Um, that finding the lead is really kind of looking through, you know, all of our notes, our research, oops, research, interviews, et cetera. All right. We look through all of this stuff that we've collected through our, uh, through our um, time working on the article. And we're gonna try to find, again, the number one thing among all of this stuff that is the most important thing that we want to talk about. Typically, um, uh, that would that leads into this next section. Typically, that's going to be different for every type of article that you're kind of writing. Um, for example, if we're talking about a arts article that is a review. The first thing we want to talk about, the main thing we want to talk about is our verdict. Okay, we want to talk about the verdict. You know, what do we decide? Do we like the show? Do we not like the show? Is it a waste of time? Is it something that you would rather not watch? Um, is the show so great that you need to let everybody know about it? These are very important things and the basis for what you want to do with your arts article when it's a review of any kind of medium, a book, a TV show, a movie, an album, any of those things. What is the thing, how did you, you know, what is, what is the one thing overall that you think about this piece of medium? You know, the latest uh, TV series for uh, X uh, channel is amazing. It's action packed and everyone should watch it. There you go. There's your lead. Now, Again, like I said, it does differ when you are writing a news story. Now, a news story, depending on what notes, research, and interviews you've done, the lead, the most important thing, can sometimes be harder to find out. But typically, again, we use our notes, we use our research, and we use our interviews to decide what the most important thing is in this news story. So again, we go back to most important. Same thing, just like before. If you attend a meeting where uh, ASU or if you attend, attend a town hall where uh, you know the heads of the district are at, if they're talking about a specific thing, for example, let's say they're talking about um, financial aid, and they're gonna focus on the fact that financial aid will no longer be accepted at community colleges. Your lead, the most important thing that you, that you should have in there should focus on the fact that financial aid will no longer be taken at community colleges. Now there's gonna be a lot of notes, there's gonna be a lot of details in your notes, research and interview that will be able to back up, inform people more about what your lead holds in it. 
Same thing can go, for example, uh, you know, if you attend a, a, a conference or a meeting for, uh, let's say, uh, local uh, student government, you go to an ASU meeting, an I ICC meeting, and they're focused and they're talking about, for example, multiple different topics. They talk about budget, they talk about um, uh, clubs, they talk about, uh, uh, you know, future fundraising and so on. But as you're going through your through all this list, it, one of the most, again, lots of very important topics, right? Let's say they, they're talking about budget, all the clubs are below budget this year, or they're having their budget slashed. That's important to know for students. But when we're talking about leads, if within the same meet within the same meeting, through in your notes or maybe through an interview with 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 the president or something like that, the, the student president, or through some of your research through some of the stuff that they give out at the meeting, you find out that there is going to be a uh, a recall election on the ASU president. So now that becomes your big story. Now that doesn't mean that you discount everything else that happened at the meeting. It becomes part of your lead, you know. Um, ASU president is you know will be will it will be um, th there will be a a, a reelection for ASU president. Um, the ASU discuss, discussed the re the reelection. They discussed uh, they discussed the reelection and also the slashing of budgets for clubs. If those are the two most important things that you took from that meeting, that goes in your lead. Now, yes, they also talked about lots of other stuff, right? They talked about how they're going to start providing donuts at the pantry. They're going to start, uh, you know, I don't know. They're going to allow you to uh, to ride your bicycle within the <laughs> within the halls of the of the uh, of the college buildings. These are these are things that are also important that are part of their agenda. Points that they're making, but they're not as important as the fact that they're going to reelect a new ASU president, and the fact that all clubs have their budgets slashed. Those other details will be in the article, but they'll be towards the bottom, towards the end, because they're not as important pieces of information as the other two things that are all about your lead. Last quick thing I, I, I wanna mention, like I said, very different versions for each of the, um, each article. But typically, even though the news is where I put it at here, these two, this thing right here, the most important piece of information is typically always going to be your lead in every type of article. If we're doing an arts, an arts review, the verdict, what you thought about the show is the most important thing. <clears throat> Use the rest of your article to explain why your position is that you liked or disliked something. If you write a sports story, and the, um, the Huskies decide that, our, you know, the college team, if the Huskies uh, um, win and are now going to the state final, that is the most important thing to, to mention. The win, yes, obviously, but the fact that they're going to the state final. If they lost, then you might wanna modify your, your lead to simply read that they're not going to state finals that because of their, of their recent loss, again. Another important piece of information. But you're always looking for the most important piece of information that's there. Now, there is some, um, some cave caveats. Um, there are times where there are just two or three big, just two big pieces of information. You know, it's like, oh my God, these are they're all important. I don't know which to pick. You always, uh, one of the things you can always do, and you should always do, is to put it to the test of what's the most important thing for my readers? You were, you were writing for a community college here. Whatever affects student life on campus is usually, typically, the most important thing that you want to take into account. So if a news piece, again, we're going back to, to what we were talking about before, a new, a new ASU president or a re-election for an ASU president or the fact that clubs are getting their budgets slashed, those are very important things that affect student life. That doesn't mean that they're going to be giving donuts away at the student pantry is not a very important piece of information and it will it will affect student life you know a lot more sugar high but again the most important piece the one that's going to affect the, the entire school population normally this would be where i would say if there's any questions or any comments 
but uh, but there's a video, so I'm not going to do that. So again, what is a lead? It's 25 words telling you the most important thing about the story that you're about to read. How do you get to your lead? You're going to look at your notes, your research, any interviews you did, any data you collected. You're going to sift through all that and find the one thing that leads you to the most important thing. You're going to, you're going to look through it slowly but surely. You're going to check things off the list. This is important, but this is more important. Well, this is more important than that, so on and so forth. Each lead is going to be a little bit different. And the breakdown of finding out what the specific kind of lead you want, or pardon me, the specific uh, lead with containing the most important thing can be helped by, again, looking at who your audience is for, uh, for the article that you're writing. You're writing for the college, students are the most, are, are, they're your audience. They're the people that are gonna be consuming your articles. So anything that affects student life, that affects students in general, anything that can inform these students and make them be able to make better decisions while on campus, about classes, um, about opportunities. That's all very important. That's all that that, that should go into your into your uh, thinking process when you're looking for your lead. Okay, um, it's a really short, really short uh, video. Um, just going over what it is a lead is, how you can find it, and the idea that there's leads going to change. It's going to change. Another example here uh, would be an opinion piece. An opinion, you typically want what your opinion is as a lead. You want to be able to tell people, this is what I feel and believe. If you believe that, you know, that we should have, you know, cotton candy vendors at every corner of the college, then that is what you write. ELEC needs more cotton candy vendors. Sugar highs will help us, you know, study for more hours. Obviously a joke, but again, they will change. But always focus on the most important thing. And again, the best way, go through your research, your notes, your interviews, and keep in mind the idea of your audience, who you're writing for, how it would affect them. That helps all those, those four things, looking through your, your notes, your research, your interviews, and keeping in mind what's gonna affect students will help you find that lead. That, that, that piece of information that's the most important. And from there, it's just cobbling it together, writing it out. Okay, I'm gonna end the video here because, you know, I think I've heard myself talking for long enough. Thank you, and uh, please stop by the Learning Center if you have uh, any questions.